morning and welcome to Business Morning. I'm Chimeze Obi Iwago. Let's begin with the latest in the news. The Nigerian government has appointed advisors to help it set up a national airline and develop its aviation infrastructure currently seen as a barrier to economic growth. The Minister of State for Aviation, Hadi Sirika, says a group of six firms, including German carrier Lufthansa, would advise the government on setting up an airline an aviation leasing company and a maintenance hangar and on creating concessions to run the country's airport. At a cabinet meeting on Wednesday, chaired by Vice President Yemi Oshibajo, the federal government approved 1.52 billion naira of funding for the project. Nigeria's foreign and domestic debts stood at um, $11.41 billion and $14.02 trillion naira each as of December 2016. And this is contained in the latest states and federal debt stock data released by the National Bureau of Statistics on Wednesday. A breakdown of the country's foreign debt, according to the report, showed that $7.99 billion was owed multilateral agencies. $198.25 million for bilateral, while the balance of $3.22 billion was sourced from the China Exim Bank. The report says that while the federal government alone accounted for 68.72% of the country's total foreign debt, all the 36 states and the federal capital territory accounted for the remaining 31.28%. Uh, similarly, the report says that um, the total federal government debt accounted for 78.89% of Nigeria's total domestic debt, while the 36 states and the FCT were responsible for balance of 21.11%. Uh, under the, who assessed loans under the Central Bank of Nigeria's Anchor Borrowers Program have begun repayment. In a statement released uh, by the financial regulator, details of the loan disbursement and repayment indicate that as uh, March the 31st, 2017, a total sum of 33.34 billion naira had been disbursed to 146,557 farmers across 21 states through 12 participating finance uh, institutions. Out of the total amount of 33.34 billion naira released, about 15.1 billion naira is due to be returned to the CBN. According to the CBN, participating state governments are making efforts to ensure that all farmers repay the outstanding loans. And the Central Bank of Nigeria says that authorized dealers were able to subscribe to $65.94 million dollars out of the $100 million offered by it are the interbank wholesale transactions on Wednesday. The bank also uh, on Wednesday offered another $150 million to be auctioned at the wholesale windows of the interbank market. The CBN's acting director in charge of corporate communications, Mr. Isaac Okorafo, says there is no cause for alarm as the development only proves there is enough to meet the legitimate needs of genuine customers According to him, the CBN was in receipt of requests submitted by authorized dealers on behalf of customers for intervention in the retail segment of the market. He, however, added that the CBN will continue to uh, its intervention of $20,000 to dealers in the Bureau de Change segment this week. While stressing that the CBN was nearing its goal of rate convergence between that of the Interbank and that of the Bureau de Change, Mr. Koravo re echoed the assurances of the CBN Governor Godwin Emefile to sustain the current levels of interventions in all segments of the market. In the meantime, Nigeria Debt Management Office says it plans to auction 140 billion naira in bonds on May the 10th. Uh, the debt office says it will use the Dutch auction system to sell 40 billion naira of bonds due in 2021 and 50 billion naira each of bonds due in 2027 and in 2037. The bonds are reopenings of previous issues, while settlement for the sale is expected on Thursday, the 11th of May. At its last auction in April, the DMO sold fewer bonds than it had planned after investors demanded higher yields to compensate for the country's inflation. And news just um, getting to us says that the Securities and Exchange Commission has restructured the board of directors of Ikeja Hotels, 
listed on the Nigerian Stock Exchange. As new chairman and executive director uh, have been appointed to pilot the affairs of the troubled hospitality company for three months. A statement from the SEC uh, today says the move is necessary to save the hotel from total collapse and bring good governance as well as save shareholders funds in the company. And to the markets now, the equity market closed higher following interest in uh, banking and oil and gas names. The all share index gained 0.58% to close at 26,116.79 points, while the market capitalization reached the 9 trillion naira mark. Wednesday's performance increased the week to date gain to 1.39% and reduced the year to date loss to 3.38%. Total volume traded increased by 38.46% to 264.49 million shares, valued at 2.90 billion naira, and exchanged in 3,958 deals. At the NASD OTC securities um, market, the unlisted securities index uh, was unchanged, closing at um, 589.91 points. The market capitalization closed at 399.2 billion naira. Uh, the total volume of securities traded came to 820,700, valued at 82.3 million naira in just 26 deals. Other fixed income market traded in the bond segment were mixed, albeit with a bullish bias with average yield contracting by one basis points. Although yields expanded across 85% of traded bonds, yield contraction at a short segment driven by demand for the August 2017 uh, bond overshadowed sell-offs at the mid and long end of the curve. Now, the April 2019 and July 2034 maturities recorded the largest yield expansion at the mid and long end. In the meantime, investors remained a bit at the Treasury bills market with average yield contracting by 8 basis points to 18, oh, that's 18 percent. The yield at the short end of the curve was modestly pressured as investors sold off the 27th of July 7, 2017 